This is the Ariel Lauren Show. This is the Ariel Lauren Show. It's the Ariel Lauren Show. It's all about entrepreneurship. I mean, we have to be real about what the journey's really like. This is the Ariel Lauren Show. This is the Ariel Lauren Show. This is the Ariel Lauren Show. This is the show for the entrepreneur who is ready to make it. This is the Ariel Lauren Show. This is the Ariel Lauren Show. This is the Ariel Lauren Show. Hey everyone, I'm dedicating today's episode to helping entrepreneurs increase their businesses' sales by identifying and creating profiles of their main consumers. As entrepreneurs, we or members of our team are required to market our businesses' products and services. So in order to do this quickly, efficiently, and cost-effectively, we need to have a detailed profile of who our businesses actually serve. So step one. If you're an entrepreneur that is already in business, selling your products and services, who is your main consumer? I want to encourage you to get really, really, really narrow with these details. What is the gender of your main consumer? What is the race of your main consumer? How much money does your main consumer earn? How old is he or she? Where does he or she live in terms of country and or region? Now, you can have more than one main consumer, but you shouldn't have more than three. Otherwise, you're not being narrow enough with the details or paying attention to where the majority of your business's revenue is actually coming from. So, for example, for my marketing and business development agency, my main consumers are African-American and Asian-American women entrepreneurs in their 30s who earn over $100,000 per year, have a household income of over $100,000 per year, or have access to investors that earn over $100,000 per year. They usually live in the northeast or northwest parts of the United States. Now, this does not mean that I don't serve men. I have several clients that are men, but the people who book my services the most are African-American, Asian-American women entrepreneurs in their 30s with access to over $100,000 in yearly income and usually are based in the Northeast or Northwest parts of the United States. Now, why is this even helpful to know? Well, it means that when I create free content, target my advertisements, throw events, etc., I know who is most likely to book my services and give me a return on my marketing investment. So I target my main consumer. Now, what happens if you're a new entrepreneur and you haven't created any sales? Or you're an entrepreneur who has created sales, but you would prefer to have a different main consumer? Well, that brings us to step two. So... If your current main consumer isn't really who you want to serve, then you need to pivot. Or if you're a new entrepreneur and haven't created any sales, pay attention to this too. First, go through the exercise of detailing who you want your main consumer to be. Let's say I wanted to target white American men in their 30s with access to over $100,000 in yearly income based in the Midwestern part of the United States. I'd immediately take the time to start researching marketing and business development experts who have built brands and attracted this demographic. I might study a Gary Vaynerchuk or a Pat Flynn or a Derek Halpern. And most importantly, I'd ask myself how my visual branding would need to shift to attract that demographic. Right now, the majority of my visual branding, including client testimonials, student testimonials, and personal photos showcase my relationships with my current main consumer, African-American and Asian-American women in their 30s. I'd probably need to offer free content or services targeting my new desired demographic and or partner with someone who already has that demographic on lock to boost my brand's visibility. But just to be clear, I'm actually quite happy with my agency attracting African-American, Asian-American women because we absolutely rock. So going to step three, once you figure out who your main consumer is and who your target consumer is, if they're not the same, you should still continue serving your current main consumer. So many people make the mistake of forgetting about the people who actually and significantly contribute to their business's income. There was a time that I primarily attracted a similar uh, racial and geographic and gender and age demographic, but they earned closer to $35,000 per year. They weren't necessarily in a position to afford my agency services, but they were able to afford smaller investments from $97 to $197 per month. I knew that I couldn't offer my time at that rate, but I could record classes for them and sell them at that rate. They needed the knowledge and I wanted to teach. So I've created several courses in business such as portable incomes and a crowdfunding course called Crowdfunding Mastermind that have attracted that demographic. And guess what? Some of those very students took the knowledge that my courses offered them, ran with it, and are now able to afford my agency services. 
Of course, because I gave them the knowledge in the first place, they thought of my agency first when they were ready to go to the next level in their businesses. It's a win-win for the both of us. So back to you in a quick recap. Step one, identify your main consumer based on where your sales are coming from. Step two, if your current main consumer is different from your target main consumer, you need to study someone who has your target consumer. Check your visual branding and consider partnerships. If you don't have a main consumer because you haven't received any sales from your business yet, you should still follow the same courses of studying other people, paying attention to your visual branding, and exploring partnerships. Step three, if your current main consumer is different from your target main consumer, don't forget about that current main consumer. Your business could risk losing sales and shrinking its cash flow, so find other ways to serve that demographic as you transition to your new demographic. So that's my advice for you. And if you want to do a deep dive on this exercise to really figure out how to explode your business's sales, schedule a strategy session with me at ariellauren.com backslash agency. I do three-hour deep dives with clients to help get them crystal clear about their main consumers, target consumers, and most importantly, how to generate stronger cash flow in their businesses. I also send them a ton of resources to immediately help them along the journey. I hope that you've gotten amazing value out of this episode, and I look forward to serving you. Until next time. And thank you, everyone, for listening. You can subscribe to The Arielle Lauren Show on iTunes, Android platforms, and YouTube. Just follow the links on ariellelauren.com. But don't click off this episode just yet. I always like to give a free gift, discount, or special offer away for every episode. So hold on for a few seconds. If you love this episode and want to talk to me about your business, schedule a date with me at ariellelauren.com backslash agency. Every day I work with entrepreneurs to bring in more money to their businesses and eliminate the stress of what's not working. Go to ariellelauren.com backslash agency. Let's get working on your business and get rid of what's not working for you today. ariellelauren.com backslash agency.